Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video about how I grew my nails to be nice and long. These are my natural nails. I actually recently um, kind of cut them all because they were getting a little too long. But as you can see, they're all they're all pretty long and growing beyond my nail. I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. Um, and my nails used to never be able to grow. Um, I've always, I have like naturally like a long nail bed, but they could never grow beyond the nail bed. So they always looked kind of short. I'll post a little before and after here. Um, but yeah, I've always had super weak nails. I've done everything. I tried biotin, but then biotin broke me out, which it actually, that's a common thing. It can break you out. I wish I knew that before I tried it because it was kind of upsetting. But um, yeah, so I tried biotin, didn't really help my nails. I've never done fake nails. I've never done anything that should damage your nails. All I've done was use regular nail polish and nail polish remover that shouldn't really harm anything. But basically my nails would um, always like just break, crack off, peel off. Like they were always peeled down to like there because like the, it was just the nail, the nails just like split and it was, it was really frustrating. So how, um, I was also always too, I always wanted longer nails, but I wasn't really into like the fake nails. Um, I think they look good, but I'm kind of too cheap to go get them done like every, I don't know, two, three weeks, however often they need to get done. So I wanted to do something that would help my nails get longer. And one time for sorority recruitment, actually, I got um, gel nails with all my other sorority sisters. And I noticed that my nails, my nail polish wasn't chipping at all. And my nails had gotten pretty long because um, they weren't, my nails weren't breaking. So they were able to grow a lot longer. My nails had never been that long. And I realized that like the gel, the gel polish, um, which I have on right now, is just so much stronger and keeps your and then really like it's just like another it's basically like armor for your nails like I now like with gel nails can like use use my nails for things and not have to risk them breaking um, I can like accidentally hit them on something and they won't break basically it's just kind of protects my nails um, and then also looks nice so yeah, I do my own gels now. Um, for a while, I got my gels done. Actually, I only got them done twice because it was just so expensive. I don't, I don't know how people go get their nails done all the time. Cause like, I don't want to spend that kind of money. I bought the Solo Gel Set, um, which came with a light and two little colors. Um, that and they didn't need a base coat or top coat. And I bought that for around twenty dollars. I can check the actual price and put it here. But um, yeah, I got that for around twenty dollars. And I've since moved to using like a full gel set, like the base coat, top coat, and like actual gel color. And I use the gelish base coat and top coat, and it works so well. Like I got seriously, I painted these last Friday. It's currently Saturday, and I have zero chips. When I used to paint my nails with regular nail polish, they'd be start, they would start chipping on day one. Like literally, if I painted them like in the morning they would start chipping in the afternoon. And I was just like, I even would try to like do things to avoid using my nails for stuff and they would still, it would still chip and it was so frustrating. And this is just like, I don't know, it makes me feel like more classy, like not having like chipped nails all the time. I don't know, you know, you always kind of judge people if they have their nails like super chipped. There was this one girl at my class last semester, oh my God, she had one, she got her nails painted the first week of school and then had that same polish on until the last week of the semester, four months later. And I was just like, and it was by that point it was just this much like this much and i was just like you need to just take that off if you don't want to paint your nails don't like, don't keep it on so if you also struggle with um really fragile nails and like nothing's really worked for you i'd recommend trying trying gel nails it's just like they just they just act they just make, basically take your nails and make them into these like, strong strong nails you can do anything it's just great um, I have a few more tips that have also helped me. I recently purchased um, some jojoba oil. I don't know if it's jojoba or jojoba, but I thought it was jojoba, but then someone else called it jojoba, so we're just gonna call it both. I, I use that to um, hydrate my cuticles and kind of go in the nail, and the oil can help make your nails more flexible. And if you think about it, if your nails are more flexible and you know you get in the situation where your nail bends, it's instead of just breaking off if they're really brittle, they would just bend right back. So um, I love using the jojoba. Okay, we're gonna call it jojoba because that's just easier. Um, so I love using the jojoba oil to hydrate my nails and cuticles because who doesn't, who likes hangnails? I don't, they always make my nail bleed and I'm like, that's ugly. So 
love using that to promote hydration and flexibility. Also, try to, if you do have really fragile nails, like your girl does, try to keep them polished at all times. When you do take off your nail polish, don't like, like try to paint them again right away. Like I know like my nails are so fragile. If I took off the nail polish and then waited a day before painting them, all my nails would be gone. They would all be broken. Cause that's just how I just did not get blessed with nice nails that can't, that can't hold up on their own. So try to paint them right away. Especially don't take a shower in between because I know I used to do that. And I'd be like, why do my nail break right after the shower? Well, when, your nail, when you're in the shower, your nails get wet, they absorb a lot of water, and that makes them even more brittle and easy to like you know, tear and peel. So just paint them right away and then shower. Another benefit of the gel is they're dry right away. Like I literally, I could have painted them right now and they, they would still, they'd be this dry. So like you don't have to get dents in your nails or anything. If you can't tell, I really, really, I really like these gels. They really say they really revolutionized my nails, and I've always loved my nails. And last tip is to don't use your nails for risky tasks. And by risky tasks, I mean tasks where your nails can break. If you're struggling to get open a little cabinet or something, don't use your nails to open it because you're just you're gonna break, you're gonna break them. Like I, I don't know what other situations you you you'd use your nails. Oh favorite is opening those little key rings on um, keychains and stuff. Don't stick your nail in there because I've done that before and it just straight up splits the whole layer of my nail right off. And then you're sad because your nails are weak again. So don't do that. Okay. Anyway, that's all the tips I have. Um, I hope my fragile nail gang girls can, or guys, um, actually my brother used to paint his nails when he was younger. It was really fun. He got made fun of, but it was a good time. Comment below if this video helped you or if you're gonna try gels, recommend it. Um, also try them at home, it's so cheap. Not, not really any harder than, than regular nail polish. Uh, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked this video. And I'll see you guys next time.